Cybersecurity jobs. So in this episode, I'm going to share some of the weekly cybersecurity jobs. The other thing we're going to talk about is the power of networking. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the jobs that I found for this week. So Data Shield is a company I had never heard of before, but I had found out they are looking for cybersecurity engineers. So you probably want a little bit of experience to go ahead and apply for the roles, but you can just go to their website and look at the particular roles they have open and see if anything's a good match for your skill set. So their website will be posted below in the comments, but you can also just go to datashieldprotect.com forward slash careers. Next up is from an individual I know, uh, Nick Moy, who's a VP over at Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation. He mentioned they have a lot of security engineer roles open right now. Now, you do want to have some experience going into that, so it's not really an entry-level role type of job, but it is something to definitely check out. I have the link below. It's on Indeed is where they have them listed at. So I have the link below for you to go take a look at those. Exabeam is another security company that's hiring right now. I, I did see that they've got a technical trainer role. So if you've got a few years of experience and you're kind of looking to more, get more into that educational component, then this might be a good fit for you. So definitely check out Exabeam. They have other jobs open as well, like many other companies. So look at the website, look at the jobs and see if anything is a good match for your skill set. Again, don't really look at experience except for more advanced roles. If it's an entry level type of role, look at the skill set they're looking for and see, do you match most of those skills or do you have a good number of them? And that can really help you position yourself better to actually get an interview and hopefully get that job. Another company hiring for, it looked like more of a kind of an entry level type of role was called Matlock and Associates. Not like Matlock, the show, if you guys remember that from back in the day, but Matlock and Associates, they're looking for a cybersecurity analyst. Uh, again, the link's going to be below and it's uh, posted over on LinkedIn. And then finally, DigitalOcean was looking for a, this is a senior role. This is a senior infrastructure security engineer role that they were looking for, but you can find more information at digitalocean.com forward slash careers. And again, they've got a lot of other roles open as well. So same thing with all these companies mentioned and any other ones I've mentioned in previous weeks of the job search. A lot of companies have a lot of jobs open. You just have to go put in the work and look through them. Now, all that being said, let's talk about the power of networking. And I'll give a recent example of why it's important to number one, network with the right people. Number two, tell people what you want, right? What you're looking for as far as jobs. And number three, actually put in the work and give the skill set and build up your portfolio a little bit where people feel comfortable putting you in front of other people. So let me just share this example. I've had a couple of people that were looking for cyber roles. And so one person was looking pretty, they were pretty open to different roles. They said, I'm whatever's available, but I'd prefer like threat intelligence, right? Uh, the other individual is still in college. They're doing their master's degree right now. I think they've got one or two more semesters left on that. So kind of two different worlds, right? One person's very hands-on, really built up a lot of technical skills. The other person's kind of doing the academic route and, and they're building up their skill set still. So two individuals that were on my radar because both of them reached out and said, hey, if you hear of something, let me know. And it just so happened that the latter part, well, actually early this past week, uh, someone reached out to me on LinkedIn, someone I've known for several years now and said, hey, do you know anyone kind of more entry level that's really, really solid in their skills, that's really hungry for learning more and being in an environment where they can be pushed to you know, that, that level of greatness that they want to reach. And naturally, these two individuals popped in my head. So I was conversing with the individual that reached out, shared the resumes of these two individuals. And they both had, as far as I know, they both had conversations already with the company. And I don't know what's happened from there, but they, they basically were able to get an interview essentially, right? without applying for a job. And that's a key thing that I really want people to understand is the vast majority of jobs you're going to get in your career, no matter what you do in life, are going to be through networking. It's not going to be through throwing your application in through a thousand different ATS systems and hoping for the best, right? One quick fact on ATS systems, a lot of them have a bias built in the algorithms. So a lot of the algorithms out there can tell based off scraping your social media and stuff that, hey, this person's over 35 or 40 or 50 or, or this person's white or black or Asian or whatever. So even though we all, well, I don't want to say us, but even though corporations may pretend 
right? That, oh, we're diverse and we don't discriminate and all that. The reality is the AI algorithms are against you. So the way around that is the human element, which is networking. So again, I really just want to stress networking in this video as a very important component. And you see a real life example that recently happened with people that I know and that's how they came together, right? Because all of them knew me, right? A couple of people that were looking for jobs reached out, said, hey, I'm looking for something. They were on my radar. And then right at the right time, here came someone else saying, hey, I need somebody or somebody's, right? We've got several of those roles open at this organization and we're looking for people. Here's kind of the skill set we're looking for and we're looking for people that are hungry and it was a perfect match. So that's the power of networking. That's why we stress that it's not about getting a bunch of LinkedIn connections. It's more about building real connections, real relationships. And you can't just connect with somebody on LinkedIn and think that everyone's going to do a job search for you. You have to put in the work and put yourself out there and, and show your journey of learning, right? Post on LinkedIn showing, hey, I'm learning Wireshark now, or I'm learning this forensics tool, or I'm learning this thing in pen testing, or just I'm learning compliance. And here's a topic I'm learning right now. Or here's me studying for my certification exam. Or here's something I'm learning, learning in my college degree program. So the more you push yourself out there, the more you network properly, the more likely you are to actually have someone like myself get that random message from someone they know saying, hey, we're looking for someone and have me automatically think of you, right? So don't just rely on me. Don't just say, well, I'm going to network with Ken and, and he's going to find me a job network with a lot of different people that are in the niche that you want of cyber. And that's really, really going to help your career. So just a quick recap. We talked about a few job roles here. We talked about Data Shield is hiring. Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation is hiring. They're out of the Florida area, I believe. Exabeam is hiring. That's a larger security company. Matlock and Associates, again, disappointer. It's not the TV show. It's hiring as well as Digital Ocean is hiring. All the links are below. Also, be sure to check out the Cyber Live show coming at some point. I'm still waiting to hear back when it's officially launching, but I'm hopeful it's going to be here in the month of February. And if not, we'll go for March, right? I mean, 2021 is a different year than 2020. So we're going to push it out. And don't forget to check all the links below to follow us across social media. Connect with us on LinkedIn as well. And look forward to seeing you next week for the job.